everyone greetings God's generals hello 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 everyone I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ this is Rati Shalom we are right here once again on another beautiful Sunday Happy Sunday, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and a good evening to others as well. Hope we are all doing great. Hope we are all winning, taking charge. Okay, we are on another beautiful Sunday once again. I tell you, this time is like we always have beautiful Sundays, but this one also is going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Hallelujah. Okay, so without wasting time like we always do, we take some time to show gratitude to God we express ourselves to God you know so that is what we're going to do right now once right away I hope you went to church for those that went I hope you also participated in some they participated online and also others i hope you're still going to go to church and others as well are still going to prepare for going to change so let us go ahead and thank god let us go ahead and appreciate him right now show gratitude you know i believe this week uh, was a great week you had a glorious time at work in your business you know at school whatever that you do we have to appreciate God we have to thank him for our lives for our families for everything in general about our lives we have to appreciate God we have to thank him so right away wherever you are right now Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and thank God. Go ahead and speak in tongues. If you speak in tongues, go ahead and show gratitude to God. Tell him how much you love him. Tell him how much you appreciate him. Tell him how great he is. Tell him about the wonderful works. Hallelujah. Go ahead and worship him right now. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and thank him. Speaking tongues. Rika Bashanta. Go ahead and speaking tongues right now. Lika Basonto Noboske. Mara Basonta. Lika Basonta Dabaya. Go ahead. Mara Basheke. Appreciate him. Thank him how uh, thank him for your family. Thank him for the salvation of many. Thank him for the fact that you have great ministers of the gospel who teaches us the word of God. Go ahead and thank him. Appreciate him for the word of God. Appreciate him for the blessings. Appreciate him for your business. Appreciate him for your job, for your children. Go ahead and show gratitude to God. Tell him how great he is. Oh, must shake it up and thank him for your leaders. Thank him for your ministers. Go ahead and thank him. Makaba shekele bunda. Lika ba soto lobo sikaraban. Go ahead and thank him for material blessings. Thank him. Thank him. 
Thank him, Makaba Shekela Banda. Liko Bok Santo Loboski, Maraba Shekela Baska. Father, we thank you. We thank you for loving us so dearly. We thank you for, for your word that is working in our lives mightily. We thank you for training us, oh God, through our leaders. We thank you for bringing out the best inside of us. We thank you, oh God, for our families. We thank you for our businesses, our jobs. Lord, we thank you. Father, we thank you for divine health. We thank you for our parents. We thank you, Father. Oh, Shalaba Santa Labana. Father, we worship you. We thank you for the platforms that you give to us, oh God. Yes, Maraba Sheke Labaska. Lord, we are grateful. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Until you wake up one day and you do not have something in your life, whether it's material blessing or whether it's a shelter, whether it's money or whatever it is, until you wake up and you don't have it, you will never understand the power of gratitude. I tell you, you will never understand the power of thanking God for what you have. You will never understand the power of saying, God, I thank you for the fact that I am alive. I thank you that I have divine health. I thank you that my family is doing well. I thank you that I have a shelter. I thank you that I have food on my table. I thank you that I wake up in the morning and I have a reason to live. I thank you that you gave me a purpose. I tell you, until you wake up without all those things, you will never understand the power of gratitude. I always emphasize gratitude because I know what it means not to have. Because I know what it is to lack. So I would like to encourage you to train yourself to be grateful to God at all times. There's no small blessings. There can never be something like, you know what, ah, this is small, I deserve it. No, thank God all the times. I do not joke with gratitude. When it comes to that, I know what it means to me. Hallelujah. So, I'm sure it was by the Spirit of God <laughs> that we should say, I'm saying this because we need to really understand why we have to say, God, I thank you. Hallelujah. So, if you are gratitude, I mean, if you are grateful to God, you show gratitude, there's always more doors. There's always so much that God does in your life, you know. I tell you, I've, I've been experiencing the power of God, experiencing the blessings of God through gratitude. You know, so I cannot imagine a life without being grateful to God. I tell you. Hallelujah. Okay, so last week, we took some time to talk about making use of what you have. And I believe you watched the previous video. You learned so much. I've been listening to the video over and over again. It is actually ministering to me. And I tell you all the things that I shared by the Spirit of God, I began to practice them. And this week, I have my own testimony as a result of making use of what I have. And I realized that what I, I made use of was actually like I had it just with me but i didn't know that i can make use of it and i began to practice i said god what do i have around me what can i make use of you know and i put some uh, we we put some ideas together it was i and my daughter you know we had something in mind and we we're like ah we can come up with this we can do this we have the equipment so what can we do and the idea came out and i realized that it's something that can grow big and be international i experienced it because I practiced what I ministered. I made use of what I had and I realized that it brought something. So I want to encourage us, make use of what you have. We, we, we shared, you know, some few scriptures on how Jesus made use of what he had from the five laws and two fishes and the, the, the alabaster oil woman who had the oil and she used her hair. She used what she had, her tears. And you know, the other woman the, at, at Zarapath, you know, who made use of the little flower that she had, the oil that she had. And the other woman as well who ended up becoming a distributor of oil because she had to make use of what she had. And I would like to encourage each and every one of us, let us not sit down and relax on our lives. We have so much to do. Make use of what we, what you have. Don't complain too much. Don't be the one that always complain, murmuring every now and then. Hallelujah. Okay, so now continuing again. Today, we want to look at enlarging our tents. Last week we spoke about making use of what we have. Today we want to talk about enlarging your tent. You have to enlarge your tent. Your tent can be anything. I don't know what is your tent. I don't know where you think you would, you would say this is my tent. But um, I want us to quickly take a definition of 
enlarge. Enlarge is, uh, it means to make or become larger or more extensive. That means to make something bigger, you know, to extend it, to renovate it, make it more bigger, enlarge it, you know. So we have, to, we are going to learn a lot so much today about enlarging our tents. So what is a, a, a tent? Like, I mean, what is uh, enlarging? We have already said that. It's to make something more bigger. So I want us to uh, realize that, you know, when you are enlarging something, you can either renovate it, you know, you can either develop it, you can either, you know, that is like to, to, to extend it, to en that's enlarging. Hallelujah. So... There's so much that you can enlarge in our lives. There's so much, I tell you. Like now, my main focus basically is, I would like us to learn so much on, you know, I mean, the, 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 the thing is, you can enlarge your finances, you can enlarge your business, you can enlarge your responsibilities, you can enlarge your assignments, you can enlarge your commitments, you know, your ministry, your thinking capacity, you can enlarge your your godly lifestyle. You know, I put some lot of things and you can enlarge your education. You can enlarge your knowledge. You can enlarge your career. You can discover big things about your life and you enlarge yourself. You know, one of the things that I've learned in life that I've experienced is I have once lived in fear. You know, a life whereby you don't even understand yourself. You like you you see other people doing things and you are scared. You are like, wow, you know, can I do this? Do I have the ability? Can, do I have the capacity? Do I have the power? Like, do I have the potential? You ask yourself. That is more of like having a low self-esteem, thinking you are not, you, you have nothing to give into this world. You can't offer anything into the world. But I tell you, this is the time for you to enlarge your tent. You will have to enlarge your tent this year. Hallelujah. So, I would like us to take some few scriptures that I put together. Um, let me just quickly now the first one that I want us to look at is Isaiah chapter 54 let's see if we can take uh, let's take Isaiah chapter 54 hallelujah we are going to take ourselves to another level this year I tell you you will have to take yourself to another level you are going to enlarge your capacity of thinking you will enlarge on every area of your life in terms of knowledge enlarge yourself enlarge yourself hallelujah go and learn so there's so much that you have to learn if you watch the previous video I said we have so many people who make use of the internet they use internet to do wrong things they use internet to do so many bad things and you we even have time to use internet to do you know uh, 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 to do so much that doesn't add value to ourselves but I tell you you have to make use of internet to benefit your life hallelujah okay so let us look at Isaiah um, okay let me just quickly see. We want to take Isaiah chapter 54, verse 2 to 3. Glory to God. Um, let's take this one. We're looking at the NIV version. It says, Enlarge the place of your tent, stretch your tent. Your tent curtains wide. Do not hold back. Lengthen your cords. Strengthen your stacks. For you will spread out to the to the right and the left. Your descendants will, dis, will dispossess nations and settle in their desolate cities. He says, enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch your tent curtains. Ha! Wide. Do not hold back. It says, do not hold back. This year, don't hold yourself back. Stretch your capacity. Stretch your ability. Stretch yourself. Don't limit yourself. Don't say, I don't have anything to do. Don't say, what can I give to the world? Don't say, I don't have anything to do. I can't offer anything. I'm just a small person who have got the, I mean, a, 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 a life, a meaningless life. No, you have so much 
to give to the world. Stretch your tent. Hallelujah. Strengthen your cord. And it says strengthen your stacks. Do you know what a stack is? A stack is, uh, let me just quickly show. Uh, a, 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 a stack is actually wrote it down so that I can read it. Um, a stack is a strong wooden or metal post with a point at one end driven to the ground to support the plant. Look, usually if you check on the plant, the farmers, they use that those sticks to support the plant when the plant is growing so that it grows straight. Like it's that stick, it's a wooden stick, you know, that you have to use to support whatever that you are supporting. So here, it says that we need to, let me check it again. It says, Strengthen your stacks. So right now you have to strengthen your stacks. Those wooden uh, 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 sticks. Your faith. I, you know when I was reading it I said to myself. You know what. I think my stack right now is my faith. I have to strengthen my stack. I have to strengthen my faith. My stick is my faith. I'm going to strengthen my faith right this year. Like never before. Hallelujah. Your stack is your faith. You have to strengthen your faith and tell yourself, God, I'm going to enlarge myself. I'm going to expand in my finances. I'm going to expand in my ideas. I'm going to expand in my calling. I will expand in my responsibilities. I will expand in my ministry. I will expand in every area of my life. I am not going to allow, allow anything to hold me back. No, no fear would hold me back. Hallelujah. No fear, no threat, no competitor should hold you back. No, nothing should hold you back this year. Hallelujah. You have to enlarge your tent. I don't know how big or small your tent was this year. In your, on your mind, on your finances, in your business, in your job. Hallelujah. In your family. In your material blessings in every area of your life. I don't know how big or small your tent was. Hallelujah. I want us to understand that we have to begin to expand ourselves. Hallelujah. Okay. I have another scripture that I would like to take. Um, I will take so I will take just a few scriptures. Hallelujah. We have to ex expand ourselves this year. Don't fear anything, expand yourself. Hallelujah. Okay, let me take First Kings four, verse twenty-nine. Hallelujah. Now it reads. First Kings four twenty-nine. God gave Solomon wisdom and every great insight. That is, you know, when you say insight, it is the deep revelation of God's word, the deep uh, uh, information on God's word. That is why we said fountain insights change. Insight is the deeper revelation of God because it is the word of God that heals. It is the, you know, through the word of God, you become anything. The word of God takes you out of darkness. The word of God reveals greater wisdom, greater knowledge. When you have the insights of the word of God, you can, you have liberty. You can be anything you want. You can achieve all your dreams. You can be, you can fly. The, some, the way you want. Why? Because you have the insights of the word of God. I'm sure you do understand now. We say fountain insights change. Hallelujah. So God gave Solomon wisdom and every great insight. And a breadth of understanding. As measureless as the sand of the seashore. Ha! Says God gave Solomon wisdom and every great insight. And the breadth of understanding. So this year we're saying. You will need to grow in the. In your capacity of understanding, you know, have so much wisdom, you can enlarge. How do you enlarge the wisdom? How do you enlarge your understanding? You enlarge it through studying the word of God. You enlarge it through, you know, educating yourself. Studying of uh, 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 um, some uh, materials that will grow you. Hallelujah. That's why I say that this year we have to expand in, in the knowledge. We have to expand in the wisdom and the understanding of the word. That's why he says, he gave Solomon 
Let's read. God gave Solomon wisdom and every great insight and a breadth of understanding as measureless as the sand of the seashore. Solomon's wisdom was greater than the wisdom of all the people of the East. Hallelujah. So now even you also, you need to ask God for the expansion, the enlargement of the wisdom, the enlargement of the understanding of the word. Hallelujah. Let us take another one as well. I want to take, um, I've got some few scriptures. Okay, please write down Psalm 118 verse 5. I'm not going to read it. Write it down and read it for yourself. Uh, now I would like us to take uh, John 10.10. 10. Praise the Lord. So please write down Psalm 118 verse 5. Read it for yourself. I'll give you more other scriptures as well. But now I want us to take uh, John. Uh, um, okay, let me check the King James Version. Hallelujah. So we want to expand this year. We want to expand in every area of our lives. We want to expand. Hallelujah. We have to expand. The wisdom of God is so powerful. Hallelujah. First John, uh, sorry, John 10, 10. The thief cometh not for, but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. More abundantly is like very big, abundantly. Hallelujah. It says the thief cometh not for, but to steal, to kill and destroy. But I have come that he might have more life and have it. He might have love and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. The plan for the enemy is to steal your joy, is to steal your, your, your freedom, is to steal your peace, is to steal your, your knowledge, is to steal your, your personality according to the word of God. That is the plan of the devil. He wants to, to steal everything that belongs to you. Your finances, he wants to steal your joy, he wants to steal your family members, the health of your family, your health. That's the uh, plan of the enemy. He just wants to steal. That's the plan of the enemy. But the Bible says, God said, Jesus said that I've come that he might have life and have it more abundantly. Abundantly, that is at large. Hallelujah. So you need to know your place in Christ. You need to know who you are in Christ. You need to know whose you are. You need to know where you belong to. Hallelujah. When you know who you are in Christ, when you know whose you are, when you know your father, I tell you, you will know the strategies of the devil, the plans of the enemy to kill, to destroy. Hallelujah. But he said, I've come that you might have life and you have it more abundant. So this life that God has given us, he wants us to enlarge our tents, have everything at large. He wants us to have money at large. He wants us to run our business and grow at large internationally. You know, that is the idea that I have. That is the plan. That is my vision. That is my goal. I want to grow, grow globally. I want to be big. Because the Bible says that I, He is giving me the right to enlarge. God is giving me the capacity, the ability, the power to enlarge my tent. Hallelujah. And I'm going to build my stronger stack, which is my faith. I'm going to grow bigger in faith. And I'm actually saying this because I'm, I'm ministering to each and every one of us, encouraging us. Hallelujah. That we have to grow bigger. We have to grow bigger. Hallelujah. And... I want us to take this scripture, um, the, the, the parable of the, the talents, the parable of the ten talents, hallelujah, because we need to know um, what we have to do, hallelujah. Okay, that is the other scripture that you should write down, please, Ephesians 3, verse 17 to 19, read it by yourself. I'm going to take Matthew 25 right now. Hallelujah. Woo, we want to enlarge our tents this year. We are ready. No limitations for us. Hallelujah. No limitations for us. No limitations at all. Matthew. Matthew 25. Verse 17 to 19. But I'm going to take some few scriptures. I mean some few uh, chapters there 
Hallelujah. Okay, so let me take the New King James Version. Matthew, it is the parable of the talents. Hallelujah. Jesus was talking to the disciples. Matthew 25, 14 to 30. Take time to read through the passage again and again. For the kingdom of heaven is like me, a, a, a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. And to one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on a journey. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents. And likewise he who had received two gained two more also. But he who had received one went and dug into the ground and hid his uh, Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants came and sought to the council with them. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered to me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also who had received two talents came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, my, the man who had received five bags of gold received the other five. Okay. Where was I? The man who had received five, um, five big bags of gold. Okay. We have read that. Okay, the man with two bags of gold also came. Master, he said, you entrusted me with two bags of gold. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Hallelujah. And then, then the one who had received one bag of gold came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. See that mentality. Mentality of limitness and of selfishness and of when you have a, 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 a heart that is so cruel, you know. And those, you know those kind of people are those people who believe in not sharing greedy. When you are so greedy, you're like, ah, never. Me, I make use of my power with what he's giving me. I invest, I, may, I, I multiply it so he can come. Hallelujah. And take it. Look at this. His master replied, you wicked lazy servant. Okay, says, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seeds. So I was afraid and went out and hid your gold in the ground. See here is what belongs to you. His master replied, you wicked lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. Well, then you should have put my money on deposit with the banker so that when I have re returned, I would have received it back with interest. So take the bag of gold from him and give it to the one who had 10 bags. For whoever has will be given more and there will have an abundance. Whoever does not have even what they have will be taken from them and thrown that worthless seven outside into the darkness where they will be weeping and crashing of the teeth. So take time to read through the whole chapter. I'm going to be very fast because my time is limited right now. Hallelujah. So meaning that the, the, those people, we gave them the talent to give them what to do. Some, they made use of what they had. They enlarged their tents and God blessed them more. I mean, the, the master blessed them more according to the par parable here, Jesus that was talking to the disciples. Hallelujah. So you also now, while you are looking at yourself, there's something that God gave you. There's a talent inside of you. You just haven't discovered it yet. And if you don't discover that, you need to pray that God reveals it to you. Hallelujah. There's a talent inside of you. When the master comes back and asks you, what did you do with what you had? What are you going to say? It is time for you to make use of what God has given you. I'm talking to somebody right now. Stop complaining. Stop saying, I don't want people to benefit from me. Stop saying, I will share what I have. And what is that going to happen? People, they've used me. They've done all this to me. I don't want to help anybody. No. Use your talents. Use what God has given you. Because you have to multiply it. You have to multiply it. Enlarge your tent. Enlarge your talents. Enlarge your gifts. Hallelujah. The last, uh, the other scripture, 2 Corinthians 4, 6. Hallelujah. Take time to read it. Hallelujah. And then Exodus chapter 34. 
verse 24. Please take time to also read that one as well. Hallelujah. So right now, I want to encourage each and every one of us. Let us enlarge our tents. Don't be like that uh, uh, a servant who come back to the master with the legal and say, I didn't do anything about it. Do something with your life. Do something with your hands. Do something with the ideas that God, God, God gave us a mind so we can think. Do something about it. Don't sit down and light your tent. Hallelujah. Make your stack stronger. Make your faith stronger. Enlarge your capacity. Enlarge your thinking abilities. Enlarge yourself. Hallelujah. Go and educate yourself. Study. Do something. Go back to school. Enlarge yourself. You have so much to give inside of you until you begin to, to take an action. You never know what you have. But I want to encourage you today that you uh, and tell you this. You have so much to give to the world. You have so much to give to your family. You have so much to give to those that are around you, to your nation, to your cities, to your communities, to your suburbs. You have so much to give. Hallelujah. Don't limit yourself. There's so much. You have so much information inside of you. Use it enlarge your tent hallelujah so if you are watching me right now you're listening to me and you're not born again you're saying right i don't even know what you're saying like where do i even get the power to enlarge myself it is very easy hallelujah there's uh, you have to give your love to christ i will lead you with the prof salvation you say this after me and you um, say this prayer after me and mean it with all your heart so that you can be born again hallelujah i would like you to say this prayer after me right now and you mean it with all your heart say oh lord god i come to you in the name of jesus christ your word says whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved right now i ask you jesus to come into my heart to be the lord of my life i receive eternal life into my spirit right now i declare that i'm born again i am saved i'm a new creation now old things have passed away everything is new in my life right now in jesus name amen wow congratulations if you have said this prayer after me right now you are now born again you are now born again hallelujah send us an inbox talk to us we'll send you some articles to read and help you on your journey of your life in christ hallelujah Wow, so I hope we learned so much today about enlarging our tents. Right now, I would like us to spend some few minutes in prayer. Pray, pray, because all the ability comes from God. This is one thing that I realized in my life, that I need the ability from God. The ability to do things in your life, to enlarge your tent, comes from the master himself. It comes from God. Hallelujah. You don't need to go around seeking for powers. You don't need to go around seeking for help. You don't need to go around li li looking for what to battle with, what to use on yourself for you to gain power, to gain abilities, to open uh, 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 yourself for opportunities, business opportunities, you know, job opportunities in your life. You try to go around in different person looking for whom to help you. You end up going to some different shelt small uh, 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 hidden shelters here and there so you can get Go ahead and pray. Oh, hallelujah. We apologize for that. We just disconnected a little bit. Hallelujah. So I would like us to pray right now. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray right now. Pray for the for, for the ability. Pray. Pray. Go ahead and pray. Speaking tongues right now. Pray and say, God, I decree and declare that I have the ability to expand. I have the ability to enlarge my tent. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. We'll take some few minutes again to pray. But right now, you know, before we pray again, I want us to understand something. That how you enlarge your tent, it is through the, your words. The words that you speak, the Bible says that they are spirit and they are life. Hallelujah. So you are asking yourself, how am I going to enlarge my tent? Through your words. 
The words that you speak with your mouth are very important. They can either build you or destroy you. Hallelujah. You have to build your words. Speak words of power. Build your life through the words that come out of your mouth. Hallelujah. And also, you have to enlarge your tent, your tent through the word of God. Hallelujah. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is so powerful. When you study the word, you get to discover some insights of his word. Hallelujah. Some deep understanding, some deep revelation, some deep wisdom that can enlarge your tent. Hallelujah. You can discover some ideas that can grow your business. You can discover some ideas that can grow your family. Some ideas that can grow yourself, your career, your, 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 your life in every area of your life. Hallelujah. So this time I want to encourage each and every one of us this year, 2022, enlarge your tent. Enlarge your tent. Don't limit yourself. Don't fear anybody. Have nobody to fear. God has given you power. God has given you the ability. God has given you the strength. God has given you everything that you will ever need in your life. Through the word. Hallelujah. Don't even be scared of your competitors. Don't even be scared of who and who is doing what. Don't even be scared of how people, how people are. Hallelujah. Don't look at yourself and say, I'm small. I'm just a small girl. I'm just a small boy. This world is so big. What can I be? What can I become? Enlarge your tent. Hallelujah. Enlarge your tent. God has given you the power. God has given you the ability. Enlarge your tent. Glory to God. So right away, I want you to pray again right now. Glory to God. Pray again and say, God, I thank you for I'm discovering the greatnesses out of me. Hallelujah. Pray again and say, God, this year I'm going to enlarge my tent in my pockets. I'm going to enlarge my tent through my ideas that you give me. I'm going to enlarge my ministry. I'm going to enlarge my gifts. I'm going to enlarge my responsibilities everywhere. I will enlarge it. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray and say, God, I'm going to enlarge my talents. I'm enlarging my talents. I'm enlarging my gifts. I'm enlarging every era of my life. Enlarge. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Oh, we worship you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, 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 wow. Congratulations. Hope you have been so blessed. Hope you received so much on enlarging your tent. Hallelujah. Enlarge your tent through studying of the word. Enlarge your business. Think big. Think of sponsorships. Think of investors. Think of, you know, never limit yourself. I tell you, God is so big. God is so big in such a way that even when you pray small, he will be looking at you like, and you think I'm that small? You're not serious. Go back and pray. Hallelujah. Because God is so big. Look at your business and say you are growing. You are going internationally. Yes, you're going to have industries. Yes, you're going to have factories. Yes, you're going to have investors. Speak to your business. Speak to your finances. Speak to your family. Speak to each and every area of your life. See enlargement. 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 Hallelujah. See enlargement. Business opportunities everywhere. Glory to God. Job opportunities. Promotions. Hallelujah. In your ministry, see enlargement. See souls, enlargement of salvation. See salvation of many. See you preaching the gospel to many. Enlarge yourself. Share your testimonies. Share what God has done for you. Enlarge it. Hallelujah. Enlarge it. The, um, God, God's ministers, God's pastors, God's leaders, you know, God's brethren, everybody, God's children. Enlarge yourself in each and every area of your life. Enlarge. Glory to God. Wow, I can continue. I can go on and on and on and on, you know, as the Spirit leads. You know, when the Holy Spirit is in touch, you, you might not stop. You will continue 
on and on and on hallelujah but i hope we learn so much today i personally learn so much and you know what i like is that every time i listen to the message again and again and i practice it i use it because i don't want to talk about things that i personally do not do it doesn't what, what is it going to profit me hallelujah so let us enlarge our tents let us grow bigger let us be bigger god wants us bigger glory to god we can be anything we want in our lives hallelujah I see international great ministers of the gospel, international businessmen and women, international God's children doing great things for the master. Hallelujah. We have to grow. We have to grow. Glory to God. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for participating. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you all so dearly. I love you all. Thank you for entrusting, you know, I mean, thank you for always, you know, having, I mean, believing in us rather, believing in what we share, believing in what we preach. Hallelujah. I thank you so much. I know it ministers to us in a special way and I am grateful to God. I personally have been so blessed through this platform and this year we are going to also enlarge at Fountain Incense Church. We're looking forward for more responsibilities. Glory to God. So yes, once again, happy Sunday to you. This is Rati Shalom. Good morning, good afternoon, and a good evening to others as well. All around the world, we are a global family. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ once again. Yes, like I always say, stay blessed, stay connected, stay in the word of God. Don't move an inch. Don't let anything move you an inch from the presence of God. Hallelujah. Have a beautiful week ahead. Have a beautiful, glorious week. Go and take charge. Go and possess. Go and win in your business. Go and possess in your job, in every area of your life. Go and possess greatness. Hallelujah. Go and win. Go and win. Thank you so much. I love you all. I will see you next Sunday again. Next Sunday will be so powerful as well. Take time to go through the message again and again. I love you. Stay blessed.